Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're just going to be doing a quick tutorial as I'm not really making too many moves at the moment. I'm just uh, consolidated my position into Chimi Matic on Adamant if you've been following the last couple of videos. But today I wanted to, I've been waiting to get around to this, I wanted to look at something quite important, is how to revoke access on your MetaMask wallet. So probably you've been on Polygon for a little while now, or if you've just started, and there's lots of projects which you granted access to your wallet a long time ago, which you're not using anymore. So the safe thing to do now is to start revoking some of these, so then you, you're you not um, left vulnerable to any kind of exploits. So let's crack on. So the first thing you wanna do is come to polygonscan.com and then you want to go to MISC and you want to go down to token approvals. Okay, and then we get this site saying token approvals, review and revoke your token approvals for any DAP. So it's quite simple really. Um, you just copy your address from MetaMask and then just paste it in here and search. And then we can see all of the contracts which we have approved on here. We've got Mematic, Adamant. Um, we can also see the router on this approved spender. Um, when it was last updated as well. So probably we can try and filter by that. So if we go over to this column where it says revoke, then we have the option to revoke here as it says. If you just hover over here, it says connect to the address owner's wallet to revoke approval. So the first thing we need to do is connect our wallet. Otherwise, anyone could just log on and revoke all the contracts without having access to my wallet. So the nice kind of thing here is you can do some on-chain research. You can see who is the big token holder and you can type in their wallet address here and actually we could check what some of the big whales, which contracts they're using and when it's last updated. Um, that's a bit sort of going into on-chain research. I think maybe we'll do that in a future video. That would be pretty cool. But for now, what you need to do is go to connect web free. Click there and then you just need to pick your account which you're using on Polygon and then click next and connect. And now we should be able to revoke the access. So I'm gonna be looking at Golden Bull Token. So this farm is one we did a video on a couple of weeks ago. It didn't turn out very well, unfortunately, but it's gonna be the case for a lot of farms. Um, didn't really lose next to nothing on this. So I'm not using it anymore, so it seems best to revoke it. So we'll go onto here and we can see Golden Bull Token. Actually, we can try clicking this contract link, check out the details. And then we've got the record of our last transaction, I think. So I'm from USDC, um, from Golden Bull to USDC, and then from USDC to Tether. So let's go ahead and revoke that so once we are connected we should see this connected sign and it will give our wallet address and then once we do that we should be able to click to revoke and then click revoke here okay so once we've got this pop-up on metamask we can just click confirm okay so now we can close this box here and if we refresh the page now, then this this line here, this um, then this golden bull token should disappear. And it's gone. So then we can just go through all the tokens and just revoke the access of the ones you don't want access to. So let's see if we can sort this by last updated. We've got twenty third, which is today. Um, we can change that age. That kind of makes it easier. Um, probably we can just go to last P 
page down ordered in days right so if we go to the last page what do we got uniswap quick swap you can see when the first transaction i did was the first the first of march wow that's a long time ago right four four months ago was the first transaction i did on here i don't know if that's the oldest one it seems like it i think it is Okay, so that's just about it for today, for today's very short but important tutorial. I'm going to be covering some more security tutorials over the next few days. I think it's good for us to update our knowledge while we're not really doing too much at the moment. And then hopefully we can research some more farms and a bit more exciting stuff once the market turns a bit more on risk. So I hope you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it if you did, and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're into this kind of thing. I'm doing a new video on crypto, DeFi, doing it and talking about it pretty much every single day. So I'll see you tomorrow.